that's right guys the black maze dedicated server will be online very very shortly and in this video i'm going to talk to you about what exactly is going to happen with the server what am i going to do with it what are the rules going to be what can you expect and of course how can you join now before we do actually start to talk about the server though i want to talk to you about the server because this server has been sponsored to me free of charge by very games i'm not paying a single dime for this server and uh, they were uh, happy enough to provide the server free of charge with unlimited slots so basically that means that this server is going to have huge capabilities now to talk about very games i noticed on their website that they um support a whole range of games now specifically about space engineers though they've told me that the uh, servers that they're running are very fast they're running intel Xeon e5 2650 version 2 processors with 128 gigabytes of ram and that's pretty cool because a lot of times you you'll see especially on minecraft servers that they limit your ram capabilities and with these procedurally generated games and all of these uh servers that are going to keep increasing as more stuff is added obviously need a lot of ram so it's nice to know that you're gonna get pretty much unlimited amounts of RAM. It's a uh, SSD powered 500 gigabyte drive which is really cool and basically everything is just very smooth. You get FTP access so you can um, put in your own mods if you wanted to or of course just uh, edit your uh, your your, uh, your maps and just upload your new maps as you want. I'm really happy with the unlimited slots though and I do think it's actually quite affordable. 20 euros per month I think that's around 19 pound for unlimited slots now if you don't want to pay 20 euros you could get something like if you'd want to play with just your friends six slots is the minimum i think and that would be six euro per month it's really nothing i can't talk to you about the quality of the game servers yet because obviously that we'll have to find out when we start playing but i have to tell you though the service is absolutely brilliant a shout out to uh, mathilda from partnership services she is definitely on the spot with her email replies and uh, i must admit the service i'm experiencing is excellent all right so that's all about where the server comes from now let's talk about what exactly the plan is with the server it's going to be called the black maze community server so that's the way you can find it in the space engineer server list in game it's going to be online 24 7 so you can join whenever you want it's going to be survival and this means that I'm hoping we're going to get this extremely large, thriving world where you guys are going to build. You're going to find an asteroid, make it your home, build a base, play together, cooperate. And all together we're going to create an amazing community where you'll always find someone online to play with. Now, it's going to be set up with 10 times inventory size. That will help you uh, carry stuff around, of course. We don't want it to be too limiting. There's going to be intermittent hazards, so this means that the meteorites are going to be turned off by default, but sometimes they may be turned on slightly just for a couple of meteorite showers to come in. So be very careful when you're uh, building your space station. Expect a couple of dents every now and then. Cargo ships, they might be enabled every now and then as well, but they won't be on very frequently. We want this to be a very desolate type world where you really have to do your best to, uh, su uh, to survive. Now, a very interesting thing is I'm going to be helping regenerate the world every now and then. This means that asteroids are going to be replenished, new asteroid showers may place a new belt somewhere, and you'll be able to navigate through all of these fields with different markers. It's going to be a couple of beacons in the field, in the map, where so you can ba basically find out where exactly you are, and that'll help you find out where to go, where your home is, where your friends are, etc. There's also going to be intermittent anomalies. You might just find in the distance a beacon that says anomaly detected. Now you'll have to go there and find out what's going on. I encourage you all to use factions. Start up your own faction with your friends or join someone else's faction and cooperate that way. Uh, for now, PvP is not allowed. Weapons have been disabled, so make sure that you do not harass anyone by crashing into their stuff, breaking their stuff on purpose, blocking their path on purpose. Being annoying in general is not allowed. So please, let's do this together and make sure this works. PvP may be enabled later on. It's not a fixed thing. 
Now, I want to talk to you about a couple of mods that will be running on the survival before we start talking about the creative mod that I also want to do sometimes. Now, for the mods, I wanted to keep it quite limited, but I did want to add a couple of things that I think add to the necessity of um, making a survival game work. We've got the Kaldari Skybox. That's a very pretty skybox that I think sets us in a very cool system. There's going to be small ship merch blocks, just for your convenience. There's going to be the control panel pedestal and a button pedestal block that will help uh, set up buttons on your station. There's also going to be the small ship button panel with the four buttons on it. So instead of the one big button, you'll get the four little buttons. There's going to be small ship interior lights, so you can put lights on your on your small ships that you can use for uh, for navigating. And there's going to be armor thrusters, or armored thrusters, I should say. There's not going to be the maneuvering thrusters that are one block big, but only the two blocks with the extra bit of armor around them. Now, I think this is this is a, a good balanced um, uh, mod capacity, basically. Now, may, maybe later we will add some more cosmetic stuff, but for now, no cosmetic stuff, only functional stuff. Now, every now and then, I'll take the server offline, so you won't be able to play survival. But instead, I'll reboot the server into creative mode and we'll be placing, uh, playing the hosted mini games that we've been building lately. Uh, obviously, we have the uh, drone PvP that we need to do with the cars and the flying drones. That is obviously very important. And I also want to keep free building with you guys. You know, we can all just get together and build some stuff. So um, every now and then, server will be taken offline, rebooted in the creative mode, and we'll do some fun stuff together. Live streaming obviously is going to be very important and live streaming will happen very randomly. Uh, sometimes I'll just join the game in survival and play with you guys and uh, live stream some. Uh, sometimes perhaps I'll do it in the creative mode when we play our mini games for example. That will definitely uh, have to come online. Sometimes it might be live streaming. Sometimes it might be um, through uh, a normal video. Who knows? I mean everything is possible. So how do you join this server? Very important, right? It's not open to the public. Not everyone can join just by default. It's very important that I have a way of administering you guys and making sure that none of your stuff is destroyed by griefers. So what do you need to do? You need to go on the Steam and join the Black Maze YouTube Steam group. Join the group and you'll have access to the server. If you mess up, you get banned from the group. Very simple, so make sure you don't mess up. There's a couple of rules I'll be posting on there. You have to adhere to these rules and there's no issue. So don't worry about it, it's gonna be good fun. But this is a necessity because we know there's people out there who like to wreck shit for no reason. So, do not be a part of the problem. The Black Maze community server is going to be launched at midnight tonight. Friday the 26th to Saturday the 27th. Midnight, Amsterdam, CEST, GMT plus two. Be there.